So look, y'all, I've been getting some complaints that people be like, how in the hell am I supposed to ever win the live cash uh, giveaway Q&A if I don't know what the answers is? The book is big, nay. How the hell am I supposed to know the answers? It's not fair. It's not fair. How the hell is it not fair when it be people be winning all the damn time? Okay, but for those of you who say it ain't fair and y'all need, you know, special care, special handling, here you go. We're doing the top 10 facts that we have learned from T.T.'s book. What's the name of the book? Deliver Us from Temptation. The tragic, the tragic and shocking story of Motown. Okay. But listen, we ain't giving you all the answers. Just know that some of the answers will be in these top 10 facts that we learned from T.T.'s book. Yeah. Before we get into it, if you have not already done so, please like, share, subscribe, and visit uptopbeauty.com. And if you are not a part of our book club, please hit the Patreon link below and or the join button here on the YouTube. Okay. Now, again, before we get started, um, listen, right there, right there in that window, right there is the cash app. If you know you are not a paying member, why don't you donate to that cash app? It's all to make the games more fun and more exciting. You know, I don't care if it's $5, $10, $20, whatever it is you have to give. I give half to my emotion, my co-host, and the other half goes to the winner. Okay, I don't take none of the monies. All right. But at any rate, let's get started. The first fact that we learned about Motown through T.T.'s book. Now, y'all might have known this, but I didn't know this because I ain't never read the Martha Reed's book. Right. Somebody asked, was the Martha Reed's book going to be on the list? I'm sure it's on the list. I don't know if it's on the list for this year, but I'm sure it's on the list. And listen, hold on. Listen, goddamn. Whoever our thrift book fairy is, don't send the Martha Reed's book because we already have it. Okay. Matter of fact, I think it's signed and everything. Don't sign it. Thrift book fairy. Because y'all know this book club. It's like, as soon as I say I want the book, then the shit just magically appears in the post office. Okay. But anyway, the first fact, I didn't know that Martha Reese was that crazy, y'all. I didn't know that. I didn't know that she would cuss you the fuck out. Really? Because remember that time that, uh, who was that? David Ruffin and Eddie Kendrick and Mary Wells, not Mary Wells, Mary Wilson and her was on the road together. They was on the same bill down there in Texas. Martha did one show. She said, I'm not doing a second. David jumped across the table and tried to choke her to death. And then she said, "Uh uh-uh, and cussed everybody out. I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't know that. Number two, why didn't nobody tell me that David Ruffin was a pipehead for real? No disrespect to David Ruffin. Okay. But real, I thought I I did, I had y'all. The way that T.T. broke it down, I'm telling you, like, for real, he was a pipehead for real. I mean, yeah. Like, selling his girlfriend's car for $20. Yeah. I didn't know that. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and hit it to, uh, with, I'm sorry. Let's, let's go ahead and say that, uh, remember, he had a whole girlfriend down there. I don't know what city that was, but his girlfriend name was Diane. He took Diane car down there to the where the open air drug market was. It was some little kids down there. The little kids was like fourteen dollars. They driving around in Diane Lincoln Continental. Come to find out that he didn't sold the goddamn car to them kids for twenty dollars worth of crack, nigga. Twenty dollars. That's when you know somebody is a pipe head for real. A Lincoln Continental. Back in the day, do you know how serious them cars was? Oh, my God. And you just giving it away for $20 worth of crack? Number three. I did not know that Riri was riding around in Rolls Royce with missing hubcaps. Who the hell knew? Now, hold on, pause. We knew that Riri had bad taste in clothes. We know that. But, Riri, you didn't know that you're not supposed to ride around with a Rolls Royce with no help caps on it, girl? That don't make... If you're driving around with a Rolls Royce 
with no hubcaps on it, girl. That you might as well be driving around a goddamn Nissan Altima. Okay, I don't have no problems with Altimas. My mother only drove Nissan. She went from the Sentra to the Altima, to the Maxima, and then to this thing called Murano. Okay, I don't have no problems with Altimas, but goddamn, girl, you take away from the integrity of the car. Number four. TT, you got me messed up with this one. Who knew? Y'all probably knew because y'all read Supreme Faith. But who the hell knew that Murray Wilson was on the Booger Sugar for real? Y'all remember when we talked about how that lady was uh, in a room with TT, a knock at the door. TT went to the door. He couldn't see. Who it was because the person that was at the door was so short. I think that's what happened. But anyway, T.T. opened the door and it was the Sammy Davis Jr. And Murray Wilson hot pussy ass didn't even go and put a shirt on. She had greeted Sammy Davis Jr. with a pair of stockers on and no shirt with them titties hanging out. Come on, Murray. Murray Wilson girl. Is that what happens? And I'm like, wait a minute. What do you think Sammy Davis do, Jr. can do with you, girl? Because T.T. was like, he old and crotchety. He can't do nothing with you, Murray Wilson, girl. Ooh, she is so trifling. Number five. Who knew that Andrew, Eddie, I'm sorry. Who knew that Eddie Kendricks had it in him to be old bitch-ass nigga? Okay, I still love the Eddie Kendricks. I still love him. Keep on trying. You, baby. I still love you, Eddie. But when Flo said early in the book that he was a mama's boy, throughout the book, as the book progressed, I started seeing why. Because he was a when when what the baby gonna do. Number six, that Eddie Kendricks, why do I keep calling him Tr- Kendricks? My bad, y'all. That Eddie Kendricks was not the drug user that the Temptations movie depicted him to be. He wasn't. And I'm kind of thrown off because all these years, I thought that Eddie was as much of a user or kind of close to what the Davy Ruffin was. But that wasn't it at all. It was just a slight mention in T.T.'s book. That's it. It wasn't even, it was nothing like that. Basically, the way that T.T. had the book or had Eddie Kendrick's, Kendrick portrayed in the book, was that he just wanted to be left alone. Leave me alone, my motherfucking cigarettes in my old hoes, bitch. Number seven. Y'all might have known this. I didn't know this. I seen the... Davy Ruffin funeral before, but I had no idea that Dennis Ruffin and Ollie were battling it out over my girl at the fucking funeral. I had no idea. Then I didn't know that Dennis Ruffin was not Dennis Ruffin. Dennis Edwards was kind of in his feelings that Ollie thought that he was going to sing my girl and it was going to be okay. You can't sing my girl in front of another lead singer. But I had no idea that it became a competition at David Ruffin's funeral. Number eight, that the Four Tops was on that lean. No idea. No idea. Now, in the comments, some people were like, Yeah, the Four Tops, I heard that they was doing, you know, drugs too. I don't know, T.T. I don't know. But I guess if George Clinton can insinuate that the Four Tops were pimps, okay, or some kind of hustlers, then I guess T.T. can say that he saw tons of bottles of cough medicine on the road with them, okay? The next thing is number nine, that Barry Gordy is not that bad. He's not that bad at all. You know, like, I dig what T.T. was trying to say about Motown being a cult. 
because he was saying that um, basically, you know, just Barry Gordy created this dream world that was inside of a bubble. And as long as he kept his people inside the bubble, then it wasn't a problem. But you had to do what Daddy Barry Gordy said to do. I know you're like, Nate, that's not making him a good person. What are you saying? I'm saying that I think that it, he didn't really have malice behind everything that he did. I think that what makes him look like such a bad person is just the resentment that all his stars have or the ones that didn't maintain their finances. I think the resentment that all the stars have while looking at Barry Gordy still living large and they're damn near homeless. I think Barry Gordy is actually the escape goat for a lot of them. Okay. So moving on, number 10, I didn't know that Michael Jackson paid for David Ruffin's funeral. Had no idea. You know, you ninjas didn't tell me that, but it, any rate, guys, don't forget to like, share to Facebook, subscribe, and visit uptopbeauty.com. Now, remember this, the same people that you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down. My naysayers, my patron loves you babies. Have a good one. Peace.